everyone, happy New Year's. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions is getting my bathroom in order. And I have three boys, a baby girl who's in cloth diapers, and a husband who works tremendous hours. So, um, needless to say, I am the sole housekeeper. And one of the things that bugs me the most is our toilet. We have, of course, the three little boys um, with poor aim at night. Now, our bathroom only has one outlet for a nightlight. And I learned about, from this old house magazine, Kohler um, makes a toilet seat called um, the nightlight. And it is uh, available in round or um, octagon, or oval. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now, they're available in different colors. Um, they're made of plastic. And in the store, they only had white available. Our um, fixtures in the bathroom are more of an almond color or Mexican sand. And they have Mexican sand available online, but I didn't want to pay to have it shipped and find out I didn't like it. So I went to the um, local Home Depot and I picked up the nightlight toilet seat. Now, it's got these little black tabs, um, and ours came in it automatically, but I wanted to show you because you have to be able to put these in and out um, when you want to take the toilet seat out. They are um, a device. You can see how there's kind of a clamp here, and they snap into there, and that makes it so that you can take the toilet seat off for cleaning. It's not your conventional um, quick-release toilet seat. where it just slides away. So I didn't like that part of it. Um, and right here is where your nightlight goes in. Uh, this runs for eight hours at night. You turn it on, it shuts off on its own. Um, to change the batteries, the other thing that a lot of people and reviewers didn't like about it online was that you have to take the toilet seat off to change the batteries. It's LED. You can see there's um, one light here and one light here. It does not put out a tremendous amount of light. Um, they could have made this cutout here bigger, and that would have put more light directed towards the toilet bowl. However, they did not. So you battery it up, and of course mine is on right now. Um, if you want to take, uh, I have found if I push the off button, it doesn't just turn off on its own. But you can take the batteries out if you want to turn it off just for installation and you want to make sure you have your cut out in the right spot now this is a little different than any toilet installation um, toilet seat I've ever done but it is pretty straightforward and simple um, one of the things that I liked for this toilet seat is that it um, can be taken off and cleaned but our kids slam the toilet in the middle of the night all the time and our bedroom is on the other side of the toilet wall. So also, with this toilet seat, um, it's got these snap-on bolts, and this time, instead of plastic, they included a stainless steel um, bolt with the plastic nut. Because this is a slow close seat, you kind of have to get it in place and close it before you can install it. Now those black tabs made it adjustable so that you can move the seat forward or closer depending on the um, set of your seat and the holes. Uh, the plus side goes in. Now what you do is you just take your plastic piece and push your nut right onto that. That gets it basically started and this little tab will hit the side of the toilet um, underneath and make it stop turning so that you can just turn this with screwdriver. And the cone shape points up. Now, if you were just installing this, you would tighten those screws up to um, finish your installation the idea of the toilet seat is that when you lift it you can see this blue light is supposed to shine forward and light up the toilet ring to help with aim 
also help for ladies not falling in when somebody leaves the toilet seat up. Uh, there's the nice pads here and they're a lot bigger than any that I've ever seen on most toilet seats and a lot of times they don't have any pads so that was nice. Um, but like I said this little cutout here to let the light through is not very big. So to take it off all you would do is open the tabs in the back and because of those uh, black tabs that are built in you just pull straight out and it releases for cleaning. So when you wanted to put it back on all you have to do is line it up and push it back in. So it is a quick release um, and that was one thing that almost made me not buy it. Now let me show you with the lights off if you can see um, what I mean about they call it a task light. Now you'll be able to see the actual blue light itself but you can see what I can see. It is not lighting up the toilet hardly at all. You can see a little bit where the water is there for my camera but that's not enough to help the kids with the aim at night. So for $47, uh, I got it on sale for $42, um, it's going to go back. I'm not going to use it. Uh, the reason being is the main thing is I want a slow close toilet um, toilet seat and I can get that for about $17. And then we'll just mount a battery operated um, LED light next to the toilet so that it will light up this area because of this being um, the design of our bathroom, you can see it's a little cubby hole. Our nearest outlet and only outlet is here. And that has been switched to an LED nightlight. So we just don't have enough light for that. So that is the installation, in my opinion, of the Kohler nightlight toilet seat.